What's up programmers, it's me Sean here for another Java tutorial. And I hope you guys are uh, fighting well with this really hot weather right now. Because my room is about 86 degrees. And I think it's also because we don't have AC at our house. But uh, yeah, I'm here just like sweating and recording at the same time. Good thing you guys cannot smell the sweat over the speakers. That's kind of weird, but yeah, anyway, so in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to comment single line or multi lines in Java. And also, we're going to look at some of the mathematic operations, such as like dividing, adding, subtracting, multiplying. But one more thing called modularity. So uh, we're going to go over all of that in this tutorial. So. Let's get started. Alright, so like we always do, let's create our own file or class file, .java file, whatever it is. And the same old stuff, right? So public class and name of your class. So um, I'm going to create a... Uh, uh, let's, class, let's create math class. I think that would be cool. Uh, math fun class. <laughs> And then two curly braces and public static void main string args with two curly braces. Okay, so that's the basic setup for the class here. And before uh, before we get into our mathematic operations, let's learn how to comment stuff out in Java. So let's say I wanted to leave a note like before my class, right? Indicating like when this was made or what my name is and all that stuff. What you can do here is you can actually put two dividing signs. These are uh, dividing signs, right? Or slashes right next to your right shift key on your keyboard. So if you put two of them, notice they become yellow or orange, orange, don't they? So what it does is whatever you write after that line there becomes a comment. So this is a comment. And what it does is this thing right here doesn't affect your program. So for example, if I compile this right here, uh, let's save it first. But so yeah, if I compile this right here, I won't get any errors. But notice if I erase this, it's going to become um, a uh, normal sentence. And when I try to compile it, it's going to give me an error because it, Java doesn't know what this is. So make sure you put that two dividing signs to comment things out, all right? So like if you put next line with some letters in it, it's not going to read that as a comment. So what you got to do is you got to put another to dividing sign for that line there so you can put like your names and stuff and all that okay Sean what if I want to comment out like a multiple lines of things do I have to keep put that dividing signs every line no luckily there is a short um, trick we can do with this so there's a another commenting thing in Java what we can do is we can put one dividing sign, but after that put a asterisk or that uh, star sign there. So it's right above your uh, number 8 key, so you have to press shift and 8, right? And whatever that comes after that becomes a comment. So notice I put this right here, and all of that beyond that point becomes a comment. Comment is the orange color. So if I keep right stuff out, it's going to comment everything out. And if I compile this, it will give me an error because I don't have a class. But anyway, so this is how you comment out multiple lines. OK, so I want to start programming now. But notice it's going to keep treated as a comment, isn't it? So what you can do is you can cut it out by putting star and asterisk. So what this does is, this right here means it's the end of commenting. So this is the beginning of commenting, and this is the end of commenting. 
Yeah, so that's how you uh, comment out multiple lines in Java by using dividing sign and star sign. All right, so enough of commenting here. So let's get into a mathematical operation. So the first thing we're gonna look at is a dividing integers. So let's come up with two integers, shall we? So one of them, let's say integer x equals 20, and another one, integer y equals something like seven. I think that's a perfect combination. <clears throat> And uh, after that, we are going to put a system.out, let me give a room here. So system.out.println with <clears throat> the answer is blank with a plus sign. So what you can do from the last tutorial, we said that we can put operations here or the variables in here, right? So what we can, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put x divided by 7 and see what it does. So if I put x divided, oh, not 7, sorry. Let's do x divided by y. So what it's going to do is it's going to divide x with y and then print that out with this sentence. So if I want to run this, just hit run, it will compile for you too. And once it compiles, it says the answer is 2. Okay, why is it 2? Because the 7 goes into 20 two times the max with some remainders, right? But if you do integer divide by integer, Java doesn't care about what you get as your rem remainder. So it will just give you that uh, exact value that goes into it, right? Okay, so now we got that um, integer divide by integer part. Let's change these to like doubles, shall we? And see if we can if we can get exact decimal points. So notice I changed these two doubles instead of integers. And now we're going to use same exact thing, but let's try and see what we get. So, um, whoa, so 2.85, 2.86-ish number, and that seems about right, 20 divided by 7. Yeah, so you could change these numbers around a little bit so you can get a more accurate answers, or accurate looking answers. <laughs> like if I divide uh, 20 by 6, I get 3.33 and so on. So yeah, that's how you do a doubles with dividing sign. It will give you an accurate answer, including the remainder, right? But what if I wanted to do something like integer divide by floats? Would that be a problem? So for example, if this was integer, and if this was float or double, would it give me an integer answer? Or would it give me a decimal answer? So what Java actually does is that it will give us the uh, float float answers. Yep. So when you do integer divide by double, instead of giving you that a three itself, or if I change this to seven, remember we were getting like two point eight five or something like that. Yeah. So. Uh, it gives us 2.85 as an answer because we are dividing integer with at least one double. So if you're doing mathematic operations with doubles and a bunch of other integer, your final answer will always be on double. So you have to remember this, it's very useful later on. So yeah, that's how you get a, uh, that's how you do dividing sign in Java. Now let's try adding and subtracting. So let's let me change this back to integer here. And I wanted to do a adding, let's say. Okay, so I just changed that dividing sign into a uh, plus sign. And now let's see what we get here. So it says the answer is 207. Whoa, Sean. Obviously, 20 plus 7 is not 207, isn't it? 
Yes, yes, I know. But Java is treating this plus sign as like this conjunction sign. Remember, we can use the plus sign as a conjunction. So what it's doing is it's taking that 20 and then writing down on the screen. And it's taking that 7 and then writing down on the screen. That's why it looks like 207. Okay, but I want to do plus, not conjunction. So what do I have to do to change that into a mathematical operation? And it's pretty simple. You just need to add a parentheses. Parentheses, if you add parentheses around these two here, then these two becomes a mathematical operations. So you can add them. So let's run it. And there it is. Now it says, prop, uh, it says the proper answer, 27, right? So if you wanted to do like addition or subtraction, you would have to put parentheses around it so it, Java knows that you're talking about math, not like printing and stuff, right? So yeah, that's how you do adding and subtracting. So now let's look at how to multiply a number or two numbers. So we have 20 and 7 here. I wanted to multiply and multiply those two variables. What do I do? So instead of putting a plus sign, you would have to put this asterisk sign. Asterisk sign in Java treated as a multiplication sign. And I think a lot of other languages does that too. So um, it's good to just memorize, right? It's easy too. So this right here means x times y. So if we were to run this, we would have to get what? The 140. Yep, that's it. So that's how you do a multiplication. So yeah, the most important thing here is that modular, how to find modular. So what is modular means? It's a remainder, looking up a remainder when you divide two numbers. So for example, you remember how 7 can go into 20 how many times max? 2, right? And seven, if 7 goes into 20 twice, what's left over? 6 is left over, isn't it? But when we put dividing sign, it doesn't give me that 6. So how can I retrieve that 6? We can use the uh, modular sign. So here, instead of putting a uh, asterisk sign, we got to put a percentage sign. So percentage sign means modular in Java. And what it's going to give us is it's going to give us a remainder when you do a division. So it's very, very useful, Hater. So also remember how to use this and what it does. All right. So let's run it and see if we get six. And there it is. There's the answer. So yeah, that's it for uh, this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, can be useful later on in tutorials. So if you guys have any other questions, please leave questions on the comment below. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.